That Nigel threw himself in front of me to protect me when they blew up. Oh, he did. <laughs> How sweet. He wasn't nearly so gallant when the light bulbs were exploding around me. Why is that, Nigel? Sorry to barge in. Just want to talk to Annie for a moment. You want to talk to me? Yeah, maybe uh, outside, please. It's OK. We're all family here. OK, fair enough. Um, I just want to apologize for Michael. He's young and stupid and uh, a guy, which is a pretty lethal combination, but he's not going to be bothering you anymore. Why? What happened? We had a little chat. And he listened? Yeah, I think I made an impression. <laughs> wow, that's very cool. But if anything happens, anything at all, just call me on my cell. On your cell? Won't, won't you be around? No, I just got fired five minutes ago. But, you know, what the hell? I've got a novel I've been wanting to finish for years. You lost your job because of me? I feel terrible. <sighs> Frankly, I am thrilled that you got sacked. Mother! Thanks, I'm touched. Oh, and if you can put off working on that novel, I've got a job for you. You've got a job for me. Hmm. It'll be challenging, creative, have an excellent future, and you'll be working with three top-rate people. OK, I'll bite. What's the gig? Executive producer of the season premiere of At Home with Prudence. I just got fired from that job. No, you just got fired from the Merchant production. We're making our own version tomorrow. Your own version? Hmm. Going to do it the way it should be done. No one's going to take my show away from me. How are you going to get away with that without Michael knowing? Oh, we're going to distract him. With what? Me. <laughs> Crew arrives at 7. Guests are finished with wardrobe and makeup by 11. We'll rehearse until lunch. I'll start taping at 2. Nigel, you'll handle all the proof pointers with Mom. We're done by 3.15. Mr. arrives at 4.30 to see the rough cut. Sounds like a plan. And you'll be able to edit the show while I'm shooting. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Don't worry. Mr. bought a commercial company last year and had to learn everything about the business, including the editing. So everything I need is in the van. I'll assemble the footage as it starts to come in, and then um, I'll just add the visuals and the music and the effects when I'm done, OK? <laughs> I'm impressed. So am I. You are totally organized. I'm pretty compulsive. I get it from my mother. It all works. Good luck. Good luck, Nick. It's Nigel. I know, Kitty. <sighs> what a cool guy. Very. And he totally likes Mom, too. You think so? Oh, my God, Nigel, haven't you seen what's going on between them? You mean the fighting and the snide comments? That's just part of the dance. That and the eye contact, the flirtations, the double entendres. Double entendres? Yeah, all the sweet things he was saying about the other woman at dinner he was saying about my mother. He was? And she totally got it, too. That's why she's going to do the cooking segment. I'm lost. So she can show him that she's even cooler than the other woman? <laughs> wow, that's very complicated. Nigel, you've got to learn how men and women communicate. I guess I just wasn't paying attention to them. Of course not. You were too busy spying on me and Michael. I wasn't spying. I was watching. It must have been hard for you. Hard for me? Why? Because you so have a crush on me. I've seen the way you look at me, Nigel. You do? And you know what? It's a total turn on. It is. To have a sweet guy like you attracted to me is awesome. It is? Maybe when the show's over, you and I could, you know, hang out. We should. But you have to promise me one thing. I do? That you'll stop talking in two-word questions. I should, it is, we will. We will. I mean, I absolutely, without a doubt, will stop talking in two-word questions. Period. Without a question mark. <laughs> Let's finish lighting the dining room and get started on the kitchen. We're gonna go do a sound and video check in the van. By the time your crew set up, I should be ready to rock and roll. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> what do you think about this one? Too much? Too little? I like it better than the Leverskin tank top. Mm, that's my sister's. She's a neurotic dancer. She made me pack it. Yeah. It's not you. Oh, no way. I'm a vegetarian. Good point. <laughs> oh, I think this dress will definitely get Michael's attention. Besides, I don't need a sexy dress to get a man's attention. I'm not bragging or anything, but I know what works. Oh, there's so much more to you than meets the eye, isn't there? A little. <laughs> but most of the time, what you see is what you get. Well, I, uh... 
I have cheese, fruit, water, and two bottles of champagne. Ooh, two bottles of bubbly. And just in case you need it, check. And keep the sauna nearby. Annie will let you know when she's coming down. I love this. It's like we're in a James Bond movie or something. The three musketeers. <laughs> uh, no, no, make that the four musketeers. Me, Annie, Nigel, and you. Me? You. This is so cool! I used to watch reruns of that show all the time. What show? The Mouseketeers. Annette was my favorite. Hey, Prue! Prue. Annie's almost done with the camera block. You want to check it out? No. She's the director and the producer. If she's happy, I'm happy. She's doing an incredible job. <laughs> Very detailed shot list. Oh, well, I'm not surprised. She says she's compulsive, just like you. She called me compulsive. In a nice way. Oh, well, then. It's Michael, he calls me. Oh, that was close. Very. We should go inside so he doesn't see us. Not till we're sure the coast is clear. When will we be sure? It's hard to say. Hmm. Look at you. <laughs> you are late. I got stuck talking with Prune and Scott. What a motor mouth. I know. She's always like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but she never says anything. Unlike you, everything you say means something. <laughs> You're a naughty boy. I know what that means. You're brilliant. Shall we? Mm, absolutely. Let me take that for you. Thank you. You're welcome. The rat has taken the cheese. The rat has taken the cheese. The rat? The cheese? What are you talking about, Nigel? Michael and Angelica are leaving the guest house. Check. Keep me posted. In English. Copy that. 10 4. We're rolling! At home prudence, scene one, take one, mark. And action! Hello, I'm Prudence McIntyre, and I am thrilled to welcome you to the season no, premiere. No, no, cut, cut. What's wrong? Well, let's see. You opened up the door a bit too early, you missed your mark, and the line is, I am Prudence McIntyre, and I am delighted to welcome you into our home. Thrilled, delighted, I mean, it says the same thing. Can we just stick to the script, please? Right, you are? Good. Let's try it again. Roll it! Head on with Prudence, scene one, take two. Marker. And action! Hello. I'm Prudence McIntyre, and I am delighted to welcome you to the season premiere of At Home with Prudence. Where are we going on this damn picnic, Alaska? Someplace cozy and private. I don't want to see anyone but you for hours. Well, how about a sneak preview? Oh, I would. But once I get started, I won't be able to stop. And here's a simple way to create an air freshener anywhere in your house that has a light bulb. Start with a cold bulb, not a hot one. Spray your favorite perfume on the cold bulb. Then turn it on. The heat from the bulb will slowly vaporize the perfume, and voila! A subtle and delightful scent fills the air. And cut. Ah, Citizen Kane was interesting. Come on, it was an hour too long. The plot had holes big enough to push wells through, and, and the, the rosebud thing was so pathetic. I mean, a snow sled. Do I care? Mm. <laughs> 
You're so smart. Hmm. How do you know so much? I got mine like a steel trap. I never forget.